Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2. Super mini mail call episode here. This package comes from, I'm trying to keep the label out of the camera, comes from the High Nibble, which is a company name, out of Petersham, New South Wales in Australia. Uh, this is actually something that I bought. It was not a donation. And I'm just gonna open this up so we can take a look at what this is because almost certainly I will show this again on the channel, at least at some point in the future. Packaging removed. We have a little bit of a sticker here, the highnibble.com. There's a GitHub link. The High Nibble for the more significant bits. Fun play on words there. Oh, Rami, you fell over. <laughs> All right, what this is, since I know what this is, is, well, we'll see what it is in a second, but it contains cut acrylic. It can have sharp edges, so be careful. And also many small parts, so also be careful. And it's a simulated replica computer you should build not for any other purpose and cannot be expected to work reliably beyond a demonstration of a simulated computer. We got some green packing material here. All right, this is some nice packaging. All right, well, what you see in here kind of gives a little bit of an idea of what we might be dealing with here. So look at these switches here. Oh, these are nice, very nice. I am just gonna very carefully take this apart because I do not want to lose any pieces as I am not quite ready to build this thing up quite yet. So there is a micro SD card, some nice cardboard here that sort of holds uh, all the various parts. Uh, I'm gonna switch the camera. All right, that is better top-down view. Okay, oh, some of the screws have gone walkabout here. <laughs> Let's just put these back into their correct spots. Wow, I gotta say, I just, <laughs> I love the packing. This is so cool how these switches here fit into the cardboard. So see, this is up and down toggle there. We have some sockets, ICs. There's like a microcontroller board or something. We have a couple um, DB9s or DE9s or whatever these are called. There we go. Bag full of parts. Loads of LEDs and connectors and things like that. Let's lift this out here very carefully. All the little standoffs there, just perfect. I don't know where this came from, so I'll just leave that there. And there it is, the PCB. You can kind of tell what this is here. It's an MSI 8080 replica front panel. Now all of these parts right here, of course, go into this PCB here. And under the PCB is the part of this that is so cool. And there it is right there. I'm gonna be careful with this. This is the front panel for the machine. And look at that, <laughs> look at that, it's so amazing. Oh, wow. That is just so cool. So, so, so cool. That's acrylic, obviously, it's been printed on and uh, the LEDs would go behind these red windows. So I'll just move that out of the way. And then down here, this part probably has to do with the switches and whatnot. You know what, I'm not gonna take this apart fully. Uh, there's a metal case right here. So this is the actual case that holds the PCB, the front panel, the electronics. And the way this thing works is it uses a Raspberry Pi, I think a three. Um, and one of those PCBs, the little small one was a hat that plugs on top of that. That's what the micro SD card has is the software for it that boots up and it actually totally replicates the MSI 8088. You can enter programs from the front panel as it runs code, the lights all blink and do all this fun stuff. There's a web interface. Um, it's all really, really, really cool. Have I said really enough times there? So I just wanted to show this off a little bit because it's just so freaking amazing looking. Unfortunately, I do not have time right now to actually uh, build this thing. Oh, darn it, look at that. 
some of these chips flew out. 74HC595. Just love how they're in the cardboard so perfectly. I'm obviously not shipping this again, but I do not want the parts to fly around in here. So I'm just gonna carefully put all the parts back in here, just so when I close the lid on this, it shouldn't fly around. All right, here's the high nibble and the web page for the IMSI replica. This is a picture of the machine fully assembled and isn't it glorious how cool it looks? Well, you saw in the box, there's not a lot of depth to the assembled machine, not like the original machine. And that's because this blue part of the case right here is not very deep. So it doesn't take up a lot of space on a shelf, but from the front side still has a really authentic look. I misspoke earlier saying that this uses a Raspberry Pi. I think that's one of my other replica machines. This uh, just uses an ESP32, it looks like, dual core CPU, four megs of flash, and of course it uses that uh, 16 gigabyte card it comes with. Looks like a serial port's available to hook up a terminal for that authentic feel. So as I said, the software that runs is the MSI Sim simulator that is. So it really simulates a, a full machine with CPM 2.2 on it, four simulated eight inch floppy drives, boot ROM, hard disk emulation, virtual modem over TCP IP, and some other goodies as well. Uh, there's just lots of features here. You can check it out yourself. Let's take a closer look at the screenshots here. So you can see it all runs in, it's not a web page. And uh, this is like the whole virtual OS here. You've got different terminals, there's a TTY terminal, and even a CRT emulated look and feel there. And some of the virtual switches from the front of the machine are visible here on the UI as well. And it lets you load floppy disk images and stuff. It's all really, really comprehensive. And I originally shot this video uh, sometime late last year and uh, apparently there's some updates to the OS that really, really improve things. And here's uh, the simulated printer output. And that's awesome how it's on like a line printer with the, the bars and everything. And of course, yeah, as it says, when the browser is made full screen, you won't even know you're in a browser. It just feels like a desktop GUI. That's super cool. This is the Dazzler, D-Z-L-R or D-Z-L-R. Of course, uh, this comes from Australia and it looks like some kind of rudimentary graphical output device. And it does say that the TTY, VIO, and the Dazzler outputs are all able to go full screen. And uh, yeah, first batches of this were shipped out in uh, 2019. So I guess I'm a bit late to the game with uh, this one. And down here, expressions of interest, there it is, info at the high nibble.com. And here's the price, 280 US dollars, and that's uh, not including shipping. There's a PayPal transaction fee, I guess if you use a credit card, and of course, postage. So yes, I, I paid uh, more than that because of course there was the postage from Australia, which is not super cheap. But as you saw in the box, the quality of this kit is incredible. The software has been updated, so more and more features. And I do know some people who have built these and they say that they're absolutely amazing. And to be honest, instead of having a real MSI, which would be really nice and cool uh, to have such a machine, it's actually a bit cooler to have this one because it's a simulator and you can access it through a web browser. And of course, this thing's not gonna break down. <laughs> it's very reliable, unlike a real machine, doesn't use up much power and it fits on a shelf really easily as well. All right, and that's what the MSI 8088 looks like. And I will build this thing eventually and hopefully it will make an appearance on the bench here because I wanna put this thing where I can see it. Although I might end up putting this upstairs in my office because it just looks so freaking cool. So when I'm on a Zoom conference call, this might be in the background, blinking away, doing things like that. If you wanna buy one of these yourself, you can do so at the link in the description below. Uh, David is the guy who makes these kits. This is his company here and he does them all by hand. So he doesn't have the throughput to be able to sell thousands of these. He is a low volume guy in Australia, but he's very nice. If you wanna chit chat with him about it, um, he will give you all the info you need. And of course, if he has any available, he can sell one to you. So I think that's it really. There's not much to this particular mail call video because of course, I'm not gonna build this right now. But perhaps when I do build it, I'll do uh, a little time lapse thing and it'll be on the second channel here. So watch for that in the near future. Although now I think about it, 
I have a couple other replica computers that I need to build, and I haven't done those either. So <laughs> I have a bit of a backlog. Anyhow, that is gonna be it. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Comment down below, subscribe if you don't mind. Check out my main channel if you haven't already. Thanks to my patrons, their names are scrolling up one of the sides of the screen here. And I guess that is that. So yeah, stay healthy, stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.